welcome back to my channel in today's video i'll be showing how i like to enjoy my coconut rice i'll be making coconut rice and chicken in vegetable sauce it's a great combination to enjoy your coconut rice if you want to find out how i make this delicious meal stay tuned To make this delicious coconut rice, I'll be using chicken which I've already cooked. You can check out my video on how to season and parboil your chicken. I'll remove the chicken from the stock and put into the oven tray. And as for the sauce, I'll be using tomato, red bell pepper and onion and I would like to toast them in the oven. So I'll cut the tomatoes, red bell pepper and onion and put them into the oven tray. In order to quicken my cooking process, I'll be grilling the chicken in the oven and at the same time, I'll be roasting the tomato, onion and red bell pepper in the oven. This method is so important because it gives this sauce a smoky taste and also reduces the frying time. When I'm done cutting, I'll be putting it into the oven and allow to grill and roast. I'll be using basmati rice for this recipe, so I'll be washing the rice to remove excess starch and dust. When I'm done washing the rice, I will sift to remove the excess water and allow to drain. While the rice is draining, I will slice the onion and scotch bonnet, then set aside. Then into a preheated pot, I'll be adding some coconut oil. I will not be using much oil because I'll be using the coconut milk. Then I'll add the sliced onion into the oil, fry for about 2 minutes. While the onion is frying, I will add ginger powder. Add white pepper powder. I will also add curry powder. Then I'll add the sliced Miss Bell pepper. Stir and allow to fry. While still frying, I'll add the prawn. Adding prawn enhances the taste of this coconut rice. You can also supplement it with crayfish. Then I'll season with stock cube. Add some salt. I will also add the scotch bonnet, stir to fry. Then I will be adding the coconut milk. This is my homemade coconut milk. You can use the canned coconut milk. Then add the chicken stock. This is optional. Then you can test for salt and add if needed. And allow to boil. At this stage, I will add the washed rice. Stir to combine, then I will cover the pot to cook. After about 30 minutes of cooking the rice, I will stir, then reduce the heat. Cover the pot with foil and allow to steam. So while the rice is still cooking, my red bell pepper and onions is ready. So I will add cameroon pepper into the blender, add the roasted vegetables. I also add garlic, then grate some ginger. Blend into a smooth puree. 
you can see how colorful and thick the tomato mixture is into a preheated pan i'll add some oil then i'll add the blended tomato mixture and stir to fry while the tomato mixture is frying i'll add white pepper powder curry powder be free to use any seasoning of your choice then i'll stir to combine and allow to fry while the tomato sauce is still frying i'll add some stock cube stir then i'll add the sliced carrot and green pea i'll mix to combine And the green pea to cook into the sauce for like two minutes then i will taste for salt i'll add some salt then stir to mix together after about two minutes i'll be adding the sliced spring onion and mix bell peppers then i will start to continue frying into the sauce at one minute i'll be adding the grilled chicken into the sauce i will cover the lid of the pan and give it a good shake to mix properly While still simmering, I will make sure that the sauce touches every part of the chicken. Finally, the chicken in vegetable sauce is ready. It tastes so delicious and I like to enjoy it with my coconut rice. I hope that this video is helpful and don't forget to try this recipe and give me a feedback. Thank you all for watching.